God. Oh, let's go out and get something cold to drink. Oh. The casting process for Bewitched, the 1964 TV series, was a careful selection of talents who could bring the magical world of Samantha and Darren to life. Elizabeth Montgomery, who played Samantha, was an easy choice for the producers due to her experience and charm. The role of Darren Stevens, Samantha's mortal husband, was offered to Dick York after the producers were impressed by his audition and chemistry with Montgomery. The role of Endora, Samantha's mother, was given to Agnes Moorhead, who had previously worked with Montgomery in the play The Voice of the Turtle. The chemistry between Montgomery and Moorhead was undeniable, making her an ideal choice. For the role of Larry Tate, Darren's boss David White was chosen due to his ability to balance humor and authority. The role of Gladys Kravitz, the nosy neighbor, was given to Alice Pierce, who brought a unique quirkiness to the character. The casting of the twins, Tabitha and Adam, was a bit more complicated. Diane and Aaron Murphy were chosen to play Tabitha, while Greg and David Lawrence played Adam. The producers held several auditions to find the right children who could portray the magical abilities of the characters. The casting of Bewitched was a meticulous process, with each actor chosen for their ability to bring depth and humor to their roles. The chemistry tests were crucial in ensuring that the cast could work together seamlessly, creating the magical world that audiences have come to love. Poor and haven't time to trifle with you. Oh. The directorial vision behind the 1964 TV series Bewitched was largely shaped by William Asher, who brought his unique style and creative influences to the show. Asher, known for his work on sitcoms, approached Bewitched with a focus on visual humor and snappy pacing. He drew inspiration from classic farces and slapstick comedy, which can be seen in the show's physical gags and comedic timing. Asher's collaboration with the cast and crew was crucial to the success of Bewitched. He worked closely with the writers to develop the show's signature blend of humor and fantasy and he fostered a positive and creative atmosphere on set. Asher was known for his ability to communicate effectively with actors, helping them to deliver memorable performances. One of Asher's most notable collaborations was with Elizabeth Montgomery, who played the lead role of Samantha. Asher and Montgomery had a strong working relationship, and he was able to bring out her comedic talents by encouraging her to improvise and experiment with her character. This collaborative approach helped to create a unique, an engaging show that has endured in popularity for decades. In addition to his work with the cast and crew, Asher also brought his own creative vision to the show's visual style. He used a variety of camera angles and techniques to enhance the show's comedic moments, and he worked with the set designers to create a colorful and whimsical world that reflected the show's magical themes. Overall, Asher's directorial vision for Bewitched was characterized by his focus on visual humor strong collaboration with the cast and crew, and commitment to creating a unique and engaging world for audiences to enjoy. His approach helped to bring the show to life, and it continues to resonate with viewers today. Louise, uh, I'm afraid Serena was playing games. Uh, when we were children, we used to love to fool people and... Bewitched is a classic 1964 TV series that many people love. It's about a witch named Samantha who marries a mortal man and the funny, shocking, and sad things that happen because of her magical powers. One interesting fact about Bewitched is that the show's theme song was sung by a man named Howard Greenfield, even though most people think it's a woman singing. Another cool thing is that the show's star, Elizabeth Montgomery, was actually pregnant during the filming of the first season, so they had to hide her belly with props and camera angles. My favorite classic Hollywood actor in Bewitched is Agnes Moorhead, who played Samantha's mother, Endora. She was so funny and over the top, and she stole every scene she was in. Do you have a favorite fact or memory about Bewitched? We'd love to hear your stories and personal experiences related to this classic TV series. Share them in the comments below. It is flawed. Darren, do something. Sam, I, will. Sam, I assure you that Diego Fenman is an expert. The 1964 TV series Bewitched was filmed primarily in Hollywood, with the interior shot at the General Service Studios. The set design was a crucial aspect of the show's charm, as it recreated the quaint suburban lifestyle of the main character, Samantha, and her husband, Darren. The Stevens home interior was meticulously designed, with each room reflecting the characters' personalities and the era's aesthetic. The show's exterior scenes, including the iconic step leading to the front door, were filmed at the Colonial Street backlot in Universal Studios. 
This location was also used in other popular TV shows and movies, contributing to its enduring charm. One of the logistical challenges of filming Bewitched was incorporating the magical elements into the storyline. Innovative techniques, such as using wires and camera tricks, were employed to make Elizabeth Montgomery, who played Samantha, appear to twitch her nose and cast spells. These special effects, while simple by today's standards, were groundbreaking at the time and contributed to the show's popularity. Another challenge was maintaining continuity between scenes, especially when filming required shooting out of sequence. The production team had to pay close attention to details such as props, costume, and hair to ensure that each scene matched seamlessly with the next. Despite these challenges, the production of Bewitched ran smoothly thanks to the dedication and hard work of the cast and crew. The show's innovative techniques and charming sets continue to captivate audiences, making it a beloved classic in television history. Old days? Yeah. I never knew I'd gone to... The TV series Bewitched, which aired from 1964 to 1972, continues to entertain and amuse viewers of all ages. The show's protagonist, Samantha, is a witch who often causes trouble, but ultimately uses her magical powers to solve problems. Her daughter Tabitha also possesses magical abilities, which she employs for her benefit. The incorporation of magic into everyday life is a central and delightful aspect of the series. The show's stage setting and house, both inside and out, are visually stunning and undergo numerous interior redesigns throughout the series. The supporting cast is equally impressive, with both Dick York and Dick Sargent delivering strong performances as Samantha's husband, Darren. While York's portrayal gives the show a distinctly 1960s feel, Sargent's performance moves it more towards the 1970s. Mistress Kravitz, played by both Alice Pierce and Sandra Gould, is another memorable character, with Pierce's original portrayal being particularly noteworthy. The show also features several other unforgettable characters, including Abner Kravitz, Uncle Arthur, Dr. Bombay, Maurice, and Endora, who all contribute to the show's charm. Aunt Clara, portrayed by Marion Lauren in the first four seasons, delivers a standout performance that is arguably one of the best in television history, especially considering her age of 81 when the show began. Later, Esmeralda serves as a kind of replacement for Aunt Clara, bringing a more up-to-date and youthful energy to the show. The editing and technology used to create the appearances and disappearances of which characters are well executed, with minimal noticeable splits. Samantha and Darren both excel in their roles as straight actors, and Samantha remains as beautiful as ever throughout the series' three pregnancies and eight seasons. Overall, Bewitched is a classic television series that continues to captivate audiences with its humor, magic, and memorable characters. I want an answer. The answer is that I tasted it, and I didn't care for it very The creation of the Bewitched score and soundtrack was a collaboration between composers, musicians, and the show's producers to enhance the narrative and emotional tone. The music was designed to reflect the show's blend of fantasy and reality, as well as its comedic and romantic elements. One of the main composers for Bewitched was Jack Marshall, who also composed for other popular TV shows such as The Munsters and Leave It to Beaver. Marshall's music for Bewitched was characterized by its lighthearted and playful tone, which complemented the show's comedic elements. He often used a small orchestra, featuring instruments such as the harp, flute, and clarinet to create a whimsical and magical atmosphere. Another composer who contributed to the show's music was George Greeley. He composed the show's iconic theme song, which became instantly recognizable, and helped to establish the show's unique identity. The theme song's catchy melody and upbeat tempo set the tone for the show, and helped to create a sense of excitement and anticipation for viewers. The music was also used to underscore the show's emotional moments, such as romantic scenes between the main characters, Samantha and Darren. The composers used lush string arrangements and gentle piano melodies to create a sense of warmth and intimacy. The music helped to heighten the emotional impact of these scenes and to create a deeper connection between the characters and the audience. The musicians involved in the creation of the Bewitched score and soundtrack were highly skilled and experienced. Many of them had worked on other popular TV shows and films, bringing their expertise and creativity to the project. The musicians worked closely with the composers to bring their musical visions to life, creating a rich and nuanced score that perfectly complemented the show's narrative and emotional tone. In conclusion, the creation of the Bewitched score 
and soundtrack was a collaborative effort between composers, musicians, and producers. The music was carefully crafted to enhance the show's narrative and emotional tone, using a variety of instruments and musical styles to create a whimsical and magical atmosphere. The composers and musicians involved in the project brought their considerable skills and experience to the table, resulting in a score and soundtrack that has endured as a beloved part of the show's legacy. I couldn't refuse, Sam. Mr. Tanaka, president of Tanaka Enterprises, is going back to Japan today. And if I make the trip with him, we'll... Elizabeth Montgomery is the only actor to appear in all 254 episodes of Bewitched, a popular television series from the 1964. The show had additional sponsors such as Clairol Kodak, Reynolds Aluminum, and Bristol Myers Drug. As of March 2020, Bernie Coppell and Nancy Kovac, who played Alonzo, and Sheila Somers, respectively, are the two main adult surviving actors from the show. The actors who played the roles of the Stevens children are also still alive. An hour or so. An hour or so? What are we supposed to do in the meantime? One of the most iconic scenes in Bewitched is from the pilot episode, I Darren, Take This Witch, Samantha, where Samantha uses her powers for the first time in front of Darren. The scene is shot in a cozy living room, with a warm and intimate atmosphere created by the soft lighting and close-ups of the actors' faces. Samantha, played by Elizabeth Montgomery, twitches her nose and a vase of flowers appears on the table. Darren, played by Dick York, is in disbelief, and the audience is left in anticipation of what's to come in the series. Director William Asher uses a simple yet effective visual cue, Samantha's twitching nose, to introduce the supernatural element of the show. The performance of Montgomery is both playful and charming, while York's reaction is one of shock and confusion, making the scene relatable and entertaining. The cinematography is straightforward, focusing on the reactions of the characters, which allows the audience to fully engage with the scene. This moment has had a significant impact on the audience, as it sets the tone for the entire series and introduces the character of Samantha, who becomes a beloved and iconic figure in television history. The scene has been widely referenced and parodied in popular culture, further solidifying its status as an iconic moment in television. In an interview, Elizabeth Montgomery commented on the significance of this scene, stating, it was the moment that defined Samantha and the show. That twitching nose became a symbol of the magic and wonder that Bewitched brought to its audience. Another iconic scene is from the episode, and then there were three, where Samantha's mother, Endora, played by Agnes Moorhead, casts a spell on Darren to make him appear as a frog. The scene is shot in Darren and Samantha's bedroom with a dramatic use of lighting and camera angles to emphasize the transformation. The performance of Moorhead is over the top and humorous, while York's physical comedy as a frog is both entertaining and endearing. The cinematography in this scene is dynamic with the use of close-ups and quick cuts to capture the chaos and humor of the situation. The impact of this scene on the audience is one of laughter and delight as it showcases the comedic talent of the cast and the creative vision of the filmmakers. Director William Asher stated, the frog scene is one of my favorites. It was a chance to showcase the comedic talent of our cast and to create a memorable and entertaining moment for our audience. These iconic scenes from Bewitched have stood the test of time and continue to captivate audiences today. The combination of strong direction, exceptional performances, and innovative cinematography has created moments that resonate with viewers and have left a lasting impact on the world of television. He's got a what in there? Where? <laughs> a cow! <laughs> Elizabeth Montgomery, known for her role as Samantha Stevens in Bewitched, made a guest appearance on The Flintstones, lending her character's voice to the episode Samantha in 1965. Before Montgomery was cast, the lead character's name was going to be Cassandra, and the studio wanted Tammy Grimes for the part. However, Grimes didn't understand the show's concept and turned down the role. In the show, witches refer to humans as mortals, but this term creates confusion. Technically, mortal means subject to death, and if witches aren't mortals, they would be immortal. However, the show indicates that witches age and deteriorate with time, suggesting that they do die eventually. It would have been clearer if the show's writers had used a unique term for non-witches, as J.K. Rowling did in her Harry Potter series with the word muggle. I will tell him myself, and it's going to be hard enough without you adding your gloating little zingers. Goodbye, Mother. Uh... Bewitched, a 1964 TV series, made a significant cultural and social impact. The show, about a witch who marries a mortal, 
and tries to lead a normal life, resonated with audiences due to its unique blend of fantasy, romance, and comedy. It quickly became a hit with its memorable characters and catchy theme song. Bewitched influenced pop culture in various ways. The show's depiction of witchcraft and magic was groundbreaking and sparked a wave of interest in the supernatural. It also popularized the nose twitch as a symbol of magic, a gesture that has been referenced and parodied in numerous other media since. Moreover, Bewitched contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The show explored issues of identity, conformity, and gender roles, which were particularly relevant in the 1960s. The character of Samantha, the witch who chooses to give up her powers for love, challenged traditional gender stereotypes and offered a fresh perspective on women's roles in society. The show's diverse cast, including African-American actresses like Alice Ghostly and Marion Lorne, also reflected a growing awareness and acceptance of racial diversity in the 1960s. This representation, although minor, was still significant for the time and contributed to the show's appeal. In conclusion, Bewitched, with its unique blend of fantasy and social commentary, resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on pop culture. Its depiction of witchcraft, exploration of gender roles, and representation of diversity were all groundbreaking for the time and continue to be relevant today. I like to be pampered and made a fuss over. As long as he does that, I'm going to stay with him. Now, Ling Ling, you... Elizabeth Montgomery, the lead actress in Bewitched, spent her weekends and summers at the family farm in upstate New York, which was often referenced in the show. Dick Sargent, Montgomery's co-star, only needed to wear glasses during rehearsals, not while filming. The show's creators intended for the focus to be on the social norms of a man married to a more powerful woman with magical elements as a side note. According to the show's guidelines, the husband's insistence on living within his means, rather than relying on his wife's wealth, was the main theme. You may not like it, but she's my family. Really, Samantha? There's no need to take it out of Bewitched, a 1964 television series, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show's clever blend of comedy and fantasy was praised, with many reviewers highlighting the charming performances of Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha, a witch who marries a mortal man, and Dick York as Darren, her non-magical husband. The New York Times described Bewitched as a gentle, amusing comedy with a touch of fantasy, while TV Guide called it a delightful romp that combines elements of fantasy and comedy to great effect. Audiences were drawn to the show's unique premise and the warm, relatable characters at its heart. Bewitched was also a rating success, consistently ranking in the top 20 shows during its eight-year run. The show's popularity led to numerous awards and nominations, including several Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe nomination for Elizabeth Montgomery. Receiving these accolades was a significant achievement for those involved in Bewitched, as it recognized their hard work and dedication to creating a high-quality television series. The awards and nominations also helped to solidify the show's place in television history as a beloved and enduring classic. The success of Bewitched also had a broader impact on the television industry, as it helped to pave the way for other fantasy and science fiction shows to find success on network television. The show's blend of humor, heart, and magic continues to captivate audiences today, making it a true classic of the genre. In the hit 1964 TV series Bewitched, Esmeralda was introduced as a character with many similarities to Aunt Clara, both of whom caused magical mishaps that Samantha had to resolve. Paul Lind, who played Uncle Arthur, made an earlier appearance as a jittery driving instructor for Samantha. When Dick York, co-star of Elizabeth Montgomery, faced severe health issues during the show's run, Montgomery and Aaron Murphy, her on-screen daughter, became increasingly worried. York eventually left the sitcom after the fifth season due to his health. Man, that great feeling, that surge of power! All right, Darren, come along quietly. Don't you want to hear The making of Bewitched was filled with humor and camaraderie. Elizabeth Montgomery, who played Samantha, was known for her practical jokes on set. In one episode, she convinced her on-screen husband, Dick York, that a fly had landed in his mouth. York, not in on the joke, spent several minutes trying to spit it out, much to the amusement of the cast and crew. Dick Sargent replaced York in the role of Darren in the later seasons. This change was not addressed in the show, leading to many fan theories. In reality, York left due to health issues. Despite this significant change, 
The cast and crew managed to maintain the show's charm and humor. Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora, Samantha's mother, was a classically trained actress. She often arrived on set with a trunk full of costumes and props, much to the surprise and delight of the crew. Her professionalism and dedication to her craft were evident in every scene she played. Behind the scenes, the crew often had to find creative solutions to film the show's magical elements. For instance, to create the illusion of Samantha twitching her nose to cast a spell, Montgomery would quickly move her index finger under her nose, out of the camera's view. This simple trick, combined with clever editing, created the iconic nose twitch scene in the show. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew of Bewitched formed a close-knit community. They often spent time together offset, with Montgomery and York even vacationing together with their families. These personal connections undoubtedly contributed to the warm, friendly atmosphere that viewers saw on screen. The slogan, fly now, reduce a later. In the classic TV series Bewitched, the color green is prominently featured in every episode, symbolizing its long association with witches. It's not just limited to decor, but also extensively used in wardrobe. Samantha, played by Elizabeth Montgomery, often wore green, and so did other characters like Larry Tate. The Stevens house interior had avocado carpet, green walls, and Darren's study was filled with green props. The exterior of the Stevens house also made an appearance in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It can be seen when Clark is locked in the attic watching home movies. Regarding the cast, Dick York, who played Darren, had a strained relationship with Elizabeth Montgomery after his termination. He mentioned in an interview that he called her only once after leaving the show, but they didn't keep in contact before his death. Are you naughty, naughty little witch? Please. Bewitched, a 1964 TV series, holds a significant place in film history due to its innovative blend of fantasy and comedy. The show's lighthearted approach to witchcraft and suburban life was a fresh concept at the time, paving the way for similar supernatural comedies. The series had a substantial impact on future filmmaking, particularly in the genres of fantasy and comedy. It demonstrated that magical elements could be integrated into everyday life in a way that is entertaining and relatable, a concept that has been replicated in numerous films and TV shows since. Bewitched inspired various subsequent works, including the 25 film adaptation of the same name. The series also influenced other supernatural comedies like I Dream of Jeannie and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Its innovative format and engaging storytelling continue to inspire filmmakers today. In addition, Bewitched played a crucial role in shaping the career of its lead actress, Elizabeth Montgomery. Her portrayal of Samantha Stevens, a witch trying to balance her supernatural abilities with domestic life, was both charming and groundbreaking. This role established Montgomery as a talented comedic actress and opened doors for future roles. Overall, Bewitched's lasting legacy lies in its innovative storytelling, its influence on future filmmaking, and its inspiration to subsequent works and actors. The series' unique blend of fantasy and comedy continues to captivate audiences making it a significant contribution to the film industry. It's a sort of a fraternity initiation, junior. Dick York's back pain, caused by an accident during the filming of They, They Came to Cordura in 1959, led to painkillers and addiction, affecting his career. In the popular series Bewitched, Elizabeth Montgomery played Samantha Stevens and her free-spirited cousin Serena, often mistakenly attributed to Pandora Fox. Montgomery fell in love with director Richard Michaels during the eighth season, leading to the end of both their marriages and the series. The relationship lasted two and a half years, marking a significant personal change for Montgomery during her time on Bewitched. I am very direct person. Um. Alice Ghostly, initially cast as the chaotic maid Naomi in Bewitched, took on the role of the Tate's maid, Esmeralda, in the second season. Aaron Murphy, who played Tabitha, has since become the owner of Bewitched Memorabilia and makes personal appearances at various events. The final first-run episode of Bewitched was broadcast on March 25, 1972, with the last ABC primetime rerun airing on July 1, 1972. Fantastic. What would you like me to be? Patient and understanding. Well, I can...
The interior of the Stevens House in Bewitched, a TV series from 1964, was also used in the movie Brian's Song in 1971. Samantha's father, a recurring character, often referred to Darren with playful nicknames like Dolphin and Dustbin. The house itself was built in the early 1960s, but the garage with the gable roof had already been standing alone at the back of the driveway for several decades. It was a common sight in many older movies, even appearing in some Blondie films of the 1940s. Hi, Mr. Norton. Hey, come right in and make yourselves comfortable. Joe's about to start. Uh, there'll be ice cream and cookies and favors. Alice Ghostly, initially appearing as a clumsy mortal maid in Bewitched, made such an impression that the producers created the role of Anna Smerelda for her. As Merelda, the Stevens babysitter, would disappear either fully or partially when she felt inadequate or upset. When Sidney Sheldon was writing the pilot for I Dream of Jeannie, he sought William Asher's help. The opening sequence of Genie coming out of the bottle was inspired by Bewitched's animated opening. Dick Sargent is best known for his role as the second Darren Stevens in Bewitched. His portrayal is remembered fondly by many. Would you remove that curse? Curse? What curse? Oh, nothing. In the groundbreaking series Bewitched, Samantha's parents, Maurice and Endora, are depicted as married but estranged, which was unusual for network television at the time. The role of Tabitha Stevens, their daughter, was shared by several sets of twins throughout the show's run. During the second season, five different babies played Tabitha, including Cynthia Black, Heidi Gentry, Laura Gentry, Julie Young, and Tamara Young. By the third season, Aaron Murphy and Diane Murphy, fraternal twins, had taken over the role. However, by the fifth season, Aaron Murphy became the sole actress to play Tabitha, while Diane made occasional appearances in wigs. Additionally, Dick York, who played Darren Stevens, was nominated for Best Actor in a Comedy Series during the fourth season of Bewitched. Although he lost to Don Adams of Get Smart, his nomination was a significant recognition of his talent and contribution to the show's success. Readers, we've certainly been busy tonight. Uh, haven't you been here before? In the international market, a spelling mistake led to confusion regarding the name of the character Tabitha in Bewitched. The name was changed to Tabitha due to a typo in France and other European countries with Latin-based languages, which altered its pronunciation to Tabita. This change made no sense, as it was always pronounced Tabata before. The French translation of the show's title is Ma Sorcière Bien Aimé, which means My Beloved Witch. The title appeared in French, embedded in the opening cartoon. Dick York, best known for his role as Darren Stevens in Bewitched, was a beloved actor in the series. His portrayal of the character left a lasting impression on the public, making him a memorable figure in the show's history. Now, honey, wait a second. I want to confess. I want to breathe the air of truthfulness. But, but... The popular 1960s TV series, Bewitched, is known for its fantasy genre and long-running status, having held the record for eight years and 254 episodes. This record was later tied by Charmed and Smallville, but finally broken by Supernatural in 2016, with 266 episodes, Bewitched is set in the fictional Morning Glory Circle, where the Stevens' house is located. However, due to production limitations, no two houses can actually be across the street from each other on Blondie Street, where the exteriors are filmed. The Kravitz's house, often referred to as the Partridge Family House, is located next to the corner church and across the street from the Stevens' house. When lead actor Dick York had to leave the show due to health issues, the show's creator, William Asher, considered canceling it, but with high ratings and the insistence of ABC, Dick Sargent was brought in as York's replacement. Asher decided that no explanation was needed for the change in appearance, as viewers understood that it was an actor playing a role. In reality, the house used for the Stevens' home is known as the Higgins House and has appeared in many other series, movies, and commercials. The interior, and exterior shots of the house are combined using painted backdrops to create the illusion of a neighborhood. You change them back at once or you'll regret it. I don't think you know who or what I am. The opening credits of Bewitched were created by Hanna Barbera Productions, known for their work on popular 1960s cartoons like The Flintstones, The Jetsons, and Scooby-Doo. Where are you? Some of these characters even made a guest appearance on The Flintstones. David White is best remembered for his role as Larry Tate in Bewitched. His portrayal of the character left a lasting impression on audiences. Alice Pierce and her successor as Gladys Kravitz, Sandra Gould, both appeared in the movie Dear Heart in 1964. Their acting careers spanned beyond Bewitched, showcasing their versatility as performers. Uh, 
Oh, that's my Samantha. <laughs> Agnes Moorhead, known for her role in Bewitched, had a strong bond with Dick York. However, when he was replaced by Dick Sargent, she expressed her displeasure by saying, I don't like change, on Sargent's first day. Casey Rogers, another cast member, co-wrote the Bewitched cookbook Magic in the Kitchen with her writing partner Mark Wood. Erin Murphy, who played Tabitha, launched her acting career through this series. Despite the challenges faced by the cast, the show became a significant part of television history. <laughs> Elizabeth Montgomery, the lead actress of Bewitched, was pregnant three times during the show's run. Her first pregnancy was hidden by filming scenes without her and adding her in later. The second and third pregnancies led to the introduction of her character's children, Tabitha and Adam. The painting above the fireplace in the Stevens living room is a copy of Picasso's The Old Guitarist in a Jeopardy! Trivia category, both Montgomery's and Dick York's non-bewitched roles were highlighted, showcasing their versatility as actors. In 2005, Rob Fulton won a million dollars on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire by correctly identifying Bewitched as the first to premiere among several popular 60s TV shows. Dick Sargent's replacement of Dick York led to a significant ratings drop. Alice Ghostly, known for her role as Esmeralda on Bewitched, made a cameo in The Graduate before joining the show after Marion Lauren's sudden passing. Witchcraft, darling. When you're in love, the whole world's witchcraft. <laughs> Agnes Moorhead was cast as Endora in Bewitched after a serendipitous encounter with Elizabeth Montgomery and William Asher at Bloomingdale's department store. Initially, Richard Crenna was offered the role of Darren, but he declined due to his exhaustion from six seasons of The Real McCoys. Erin Murphy, remembered for her role as Tabitha, the magical daughter in Bewitched, played a significant part in the show's success. These individuals contributed to the creation of a beloved television series that continues to be appreciated by older audiences. Assuming what I'm assuming? Whoa! <laughs> The television show Bewitched, which first aired in 1964, has some inconsistencies when it comes to how witches use magic. While the main character, Samantha, can perform magic by twitching her nose, other witches on the show often need to recite rhyming spells aloud and may struggle to remember the correct wording. Samantha's own use of oral spells is inconsistent, and her mother, a more powerful witch, uses them almost every time she performs magic. The exterior of the Stevens house, where Samantha and her family live, was built two years before the show began, and was used in the television series Hazel before Bewitched debuted. Dick Sargent, who played Darren Stevens on Bewitched, had previously co-starred with Robert F. Simon in the film Captain Newman, MD before appearing on the show. This was not their first time working together, as they had also appeared together in Bewitched. Yes, Sammy, say <laughs> Sam. The exterior of the Kravitz house in Bewitched is noteworthy for its use in other TV series, including The Partridge Family and The Donna Reed Show. Elizabeth Montgomery, who played Samantha, is the only cast member to appear in every episode. Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora, was remembered for her role on Bewitched, although she preferred to be recognized for her other roles. But I'll bring him to your place instead. <laughs> Elizabeth Montgomery is best known for her role as Samantha in Bewitched. The character's signature nose twitch came about when the director noticed Montgomery's nervous habit of twitching her upper lip. Maurice Evans, who played Samantha's father, was often called Morris by his co-star Agnes Moorhead due to his first name's traditional English pronunciation. In a season 5 episode, Mercedes McCambridge, who was born Carlotta Mercedes Agnes McCambridge, played a character named Carlotta, using her own first name. I'm happy to say you passed with flag and colors. <laughs> it was a test. Darren and Samantha Stevens' home in Bewitched, located at 1164 Morning Glory Circle in Westport, Connecticut, still stands in Burbank, California. Originally part of the Columbia Ranch, it is now part of the Warner Brothers Ranch and has been used in various TV shows and movies. George Tobias, who played Abner Kravitz, also starred in Sergeant York with Gary Cooper. The house used in Gidget, which aired after Bewitched, was located right next door. It's finally reached you. 
You're not keeping any secrets from me, are you? Who? The character Gladys Kravitz from Bewitched, though not a main role, left a significant mark on American culture, becoming a synonym for a nosy neighbor. Marion Lorne, who played the eccentric Aunt Clara, won an Emmy for her performance, but unfortunately passed away just 10 days before receiving the award. Identical twins Aaron and Diane Murphy shared the role of Tabitha Stevens, but Diane only appeared alone in one episode, Samantha Fights City Hall, due to Aaron's illness. Despite their short time on screen, these actresses and characters made a lasting impression on the show's audience. Very sweet. Well, what's the sense of kidding? I'm sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart. Samantha, the lead character in Bewitched, had a fondness for the New York Mets, often rooting for them in her free time. The show, which aired in 1964, featured a recurring gag where Larry Tate would repeatedly fire and rehire Darren Stevens. This gag was inspired by a role David White, who played Larry Tate, had in the show A Nose for News, which aired just three months before Bewitched. On the other hand, Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora, Samantha's mother, did not enjoy filming Bewitched. The early call times and long hours took a toll on her, with filming often starting at 600 a.m. and ending at 800 p.m. Despite these challenges, Moorhead remained professional and delivered an excellent performance, making Endora one of the show's most memorable characters. In the hit 1964 TV series Bewitched, several interesting facts deviate from the storyline. Firstly, the main characters Samantha and Darren, who are married, never wear wedding rings. Secondly, the show experienced an unfortunate event when Alice Purse, a cast member, passed away. ABC interrupted the primetime broadcast to announce her death. Lastly, there was a tense situation when William Asher, the director, had to coax a reluctant Dick York to work despite York skipping work, causing co-star Elizabeth Montgomery to be distracted and unable to focus on filming. And you are a leaping lizard. Oh, good. In 1964, Dick Sargent was initially offered a role in Bewitched, but he was under contract with Universal Studios, so Dick York was hired instead. It wasn't until an illness forced York to leave the show that Sargent was able to step in as the new Darren during the show's sixth season. During the first six years of the series, nearly every car that appeared on screen was a Chevrolet, thanks to the car company being one of the show's original sponsors. During the summer hiatus between seasons 5 and 6, ABC re-ran 6 of the 14 non-Darren episodes to fill the gap before Sargent's debut. The final Dick York episode to air in primetime as a rerun was season 5, episode 19, Samantha, the Sculptress, on August 7, 1969. Charles Lane, a prolific actor, made eight appearances on Bewitched as a client for McMahon and Tate. Interestingly, Bernard Slade, a director of the show, was married to Jill Foster, who played Darren's secretary, Betty, from 1965 to 1969. Elizabeth Montgomery, who portrayed Samantha, had a unique experience while filming the series. She was pregnant with her first child, William Asher Jr., when she filmed the pilot episode. She took a two-month maternity leave after giving birth and resumed filming the first season, the same situation occurred when she was pregnant with her second child, Robert Asher, and later with her third child, Rebecca Asher. Montgomery's pregnancies were seamlessly incorporated into the show's storyline. Her real-life pregnancies did not hinder the production, and she returned to work shortly after giving birth each time. Rebecca Elizabeth Asher, Montgomery's youngest child, was born on June 17, 1969, when her mother was 36 years old. The iconic character in Dora on Bewitched, played by Agnes Moorhead, is often associated with a lavender dress. However, it was actually a mauve-like shade of magenta. Moorhead disliked filming due to early call times and long hours, which is why she initially insisted on not appearing in every episode. Alice Pierce, another cast member, worked on the show until two weeks before her death from cancer. Despite the challenges, each actor brought their own unique touch to the series, creating a memorable and much-loved show. I one of your brilliant slogans. Darren, why don't we go home and talk this over? Oh, no. In the 1964 television series Bewitched, supporting actors and actresses brought their own wardrobes, following instructions on what to wear for each episode. 
This practice was common at the time, as costume departments were not yet responsible for providing outfits. Interestingly, the laugh track is absent in most non-English dubs of the show. As for the cast, Agnes Moorhead, initially reluctant to play Endora, accepted the role after a personal request from Elizabeth Montgomery. Moorhead's initial expectations were for the show to last only one season, but it went on to become a long-term success. Her decision to join the series ultimately enriched the viewing experience for audiences around the world. The theme song to Bewitched was given full lyrics for the first time on dinner and a movie in 1996, with the opening line Bewitched, Bewitched. The pilot's rehearsals were initially set for November 22, 1963, but were postponed due to President John Kennedy's assassination. A close friend of the show's director, William Asher, Elizabeth Montgomery, who played Samantha, and Dick York, who played Darren, had on-screen chemistry but had a strained relationship off-screen. Montgomery's real-life husband, Asher, became jealous due to her unhappiness about working with York. York's behavior was affected by his painkiller addiction, which he used to manage back problems, and his use of alcohol each morning to get to the set. Well, you, you see, um... This was Esmeralda. The names Samantha and Endora in the 1964 TV series Bewitched have roots in the biblical story of the Witch of Endor, as depicted in I Samuel 287. In this passage, Saul seeks a medium at Endor to summon Samuel's spirit. The show has also been referenced in Uneasy Lies the Crown, a 1990 book. Aaron Murphy, who played Tabitha in Bewitched, retired from acting shortly after the series ended. Her character was the daughter of Samantha, the witch who tried to lead a normal life while hiding her magical abilities. The show's impact extends beyond its runtime, with references in literature and the lasting impression it left on its young actor. The names Samantha and Endora continue to evoke images of witches and mediums, while Aaron Murphy's retirement from acting serves as a reminder of the show's lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Twelve states. Could have happened to anybody. <laughs> The theme song of Bewitched, composed by Jack Keller with unused lyrics by Howard Greenfield, describes the enchanting spell that the show's protagonist casts. The producers initially considered using the song Bewitched, Bothered, and Bewildered from the musical Pal Joey, but opted for an original song due to potential music rights issues. Interestingly, both Dick Sargent and Tammy Grimes were originally considered for the roles of Darren and Samantha Stevens in the pilot episode. However, Sargent had a contractual commitment to Universal, while Grimes faced contractual problems. Later, Sargent played Grimes' brother on her short-lived series The Tammy Grimes Show in 1966, where her character's name was Tamantha. Moreover, the fantasy romantic comedies I Married a Witch and Bell Book and Candle share striking similarities with Bewitched. These movies, owned by Columbia Pictures, which also owns Screen Gems, the production company of Bewitched, avoided copyright issues. Overall, Bewitched creation involved careful consideration of music rights, casting choices, and potential copyright issues, resulting in a successful and beloved television series. I, I, I mean, it isn't polite to ask. Oh, do tell us what it is. Marion Lorne, known for her role as Aunt Clara in Bewitched, also appeared in The Graduate alongside Alice Ghostly, who later replaced her character. Dick York, the original Darren Stevens, was replaced by Dick Sargent in the series, a change York accepted. Interestingly, there are two houses in the world that resemble the Stevens' home in Bewitched, although their interiors do not match. You tested Adam to make sure that a mixed marriage would not affect... In the initial episodes of Bewitched, the home rented by Darren and Samantha was the same one used in Hazel, with the exterior and foyer living room of the Baxter's home. The animated opening credits of the show varied each season to include the current sponsor, but these sequences are absent in the currently syndicated version. The original sequence started with a cartoon of the sponsor's logo and ended with a brief ad for the sponsor, which is why only three neat copyright years are shown in the opening credits. Dick York, who played Darren, had back problems and required special furniture on the set. Other cast and crew members also assisted him on set. He left the show in 1969 after collapsing on set due to his health issues. Well, any word? I'm afraid not. Then there's no choice but to start the meeting and tell them what happened. In the 1964 television series Bewitched, Helen Hunt 
and Jodie Foster were considered for the role of Tabitha, the Tate's daughter. The Tates also had an older son named Jonathan, who was only seen occasionally. In 1984, the DFS program exchange syndicated the reruns of Bewitched, but omitted the first two black and white seasons. This decision was met with criticism from fans, who saw it as censorship. After learning of this outcry, Columbia Pictures Entertainment re-syndicated the black and white episodes from 1989 to 1991. Sony Pictures Entertainment, which owned Columbia Pictures, took over syndication in 1992 and still syndicates every episode, both black and white, in color, to this day. The complete series, including the black and white episodes, is also available on the Bewitched DVD series box set. The Tate's son, Jonathan, was a few months older than Tabitha but appeared less frequently in the show. Come on, Peter Pan, let's go home. After the first season of Bewitched, producer Danny Arnold left the show, leading to the departure of Irene Vernon, who played Louise Tate, due to her association with him. Many witches and warlocks on the series, such as Endora and Maurice, did not have last names. David White, who played Larry Tate, appeared in 188 episodes, making him the second most frequent cast member after Elizabeth Montgomery, who starred in all 254 episodes. Christmas Eve is almost over. We haven't gotten anywhere with him. I can't take him back. Bernard Fox is unique for appearing as Dr. Bombay in three series, including Bewitched, Tabitha, and Passions. Meanwhile, Alice Ghostly's passing in 2007 left Fox as the last surviving adult cast member of Bewitched, where he had appeared in 18 episodes. Paul Lind is another notable actor, known for appearing on both Bewitched and I Dream of Jeannie, making him one of only a few to have acted in both magic-themed shows. Oh, what she was talking about. Have you seen Larry? I'm holding him in my arms. <laughs> if you have fond memories of the 1964 TV series Bewitched, we'd love to hear them. Share your stories and experiences related to this classic show that left a lasting impression on many. Tell us how it affected you personally or influenced your view of television. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the world of cinema. Your engagement helps us create more content that you'll enjoy. Let's keep the conversation going about this beloved series and its impact on our lives. Along with you? Uh, uh, walk.